Hey everybody, welcome back to Midnight Suns. We have a supply run mission here. We're running a challenge for playing three abilities with active redraw bonuses, because it's an Iron Man mission, that makes sense. We get some credits for that. Uh, but the main rewards are a epic gamma coil and an epic intel cache. And uh, to introduce some variety here, we are going to bring Nico. She hasn't seen action for a little while. Quick deck overview for Iron Man. I've got two Quick Blast cards in here because you'll notice as a whole we're low on the Quick cards. And that's a little bit concerning. We've got a Heads Up for Block, a Leave It To Me for Iron Man card draw, Mark Target for Vulnerable, uh, Precision, Surgical Strike, and this very OP Air Superiority. So we'll see if we can work that in there. Uh, we also, I'm going to switch this Agility Serum to the Charm of Clarity because we have uh, Iron Man here, so we can get a free redraw. Now, Nico, we've got two Curse cards, one upgraded, a Witchfire, a Blood Magic, a Restore Plus, which is very nice, an Empower Plus, a Swarm, and a Witch Storm, which I don't believe we've got to play yet. And then for the Hunter, I've thrown in one of the Quick Slashes because, hey... We need them. We only have three in the entire deck right now. Uh, one Last Slight, one Merciless, the Deadly Ground Plus, the Dark Heal Plus, Annihilation, All Out Plus, and Mind Breaker. Passives fully charged in the Obsidian Caller because they're insane. Okay, Vampiric Essence, Charm of Clarity, let's give her. Oh, our combat bonus is starting the first turn with four card plays. Pretty nice, I would say. Pretty, pretty nice. I unlocked one of the darker Iron Man suits there, so just so we could, like, fit in a little bit. You know, he goes up in the bright red, it's a little bit loud. It's a little bit loud. And I need him to just tone it down, take a back seat a little bit, you know? Okay, this will be fun. Recover supplies. We've but we're going to have to get through a Guardian. Hydra has been seizing, and there's still a chance to recover them. The trick there is that when we attack these guys... That's basically an automatic taunt. So, depending on how things shake down, we could abuse that a little bit. We've got a few ley lines chilling. Okay, we did not get the resist there, which I really the would have liked. Before they roll out. Yeah, Sounds so taking cool. health damage will taunt this until the end of the turn. I don't know if that... It does say health damage explicitly. So, maybe just... If you're not getting through the block, it maybe doesn't even matter. Uh, what are we dealing with here? We've got two... One elite, one officer, one marksman. This looks like a good thing we should blow up. We've got a quick blast that I should probably redraw to add the knockback. Just so that we can do the challenge. We need the active redraw bonuses there. Uh, let's do that. And I think what I'll do is send this guy into here. Or do I want to move? Do I want to use a shove somewhere? Because I could come over here and look to blast this guy in. But I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to squeak back there. So maybe that's maybe that's a little bit of a, a pipe dream. Let's do this. Keep it simple. And if he goes invis, well, he goes invis. What am I gonna do, right? What am I gonna do? Get it done any way we know how. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Get high from these optics, buddy. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye now. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So the next Iron Man card is not discarded, and we would redraw the last attack played, which is his quick. So I could essentially go precision, spending our two heroism, and then I could quick blast, quick blast. And be pretty happy. Also, I could redraw this so that it's only one heroism. And then that way, uh, we've got two of the challenges done. Now, that still doesn't solve all of our problems, because the Hunter is going to take an absolute beating here. Here we go. 
Actually, I wonder if this will Everyone count. Oh yeah, it does count. Okay, cool. So now the next card play is not discarded, so we can just quick blast, and both of these will draw a card as well. So that's kind of nice. And then I still have a move available. This shouldn't take long. And we build heroism off this. Admittedly... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. That also works. Because <laughs> we played three Iron Man cards, so we get an extra redraw now. Which means I could redraw this and knock these guys into each other. And we complete our challenge. Challenge accepted. Nice, 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 oh, nice. Good insurance. Okay. Now, one problem here is... <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't complain. We still have four card plays and we've done a million things. So this is a pretty solid start. I'm out of redraws, so being able to add marked here is probably not going to work unless I use our combat item. I am tempted to go heads up here on the hunter. I think holding on to this, like I have a dark heal and a restore here. Those are probably redrawable. But then I also have a nice annihilation, which could be good here, especially if we get some more heroism in the next three cards. Um, or, or I go vulnerable on this guy and we just expose this and we just go for it, you know? Because Annihilation can also hit these three, maybe? No, I can still only hit two. Um, that said, I could impact this a bit. I could change that. I could knock this guy over here, and then we could hit three. Target's still in sight. Let's go, Nico. Looking good here. He didn't move that far, so let me just check. Okay, that'll that'll do. That'll do. We still have our four card plays, so uh, we will. Mark here, I think. Or, sorry, uh, Vulnerable here. Even if I redraw it to add Marked, it's only going to mark this guy. But that could actually go in our favor. Let's do it. This should be good. Precisely what I need. This guy's going to put Vulnerable on, which, you know, it's not the end of the world. Oh, my Lanta. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude! How is that not hitting? That's so sad. I wish that this was... Um, different. <laughs> basically. I basically wish that that was different. But it's not. So, fun times. Fun times. I could have used that redraw to like get rid of a dark heal or something like that. But we do have uh, defensive posture. We have, other, we have other options is what I'm getting at. Okay, well... Whatever. If I go vulnerable here... I probably have to go last sight on him. Hold on, how many... Yeah. It's not- it's not the best. It's- it's just not the best. But... Sure, why not? It's fine. I feel at least four percent stronger than before. Okay, Gotta that's officially that. our first card play of the round. Annihilation is gonna do work though. Like it's going to It's gonna cause problems in this area. We're not even done yet. We're not even done. So now I'll go heads up. And I'm pretty sure this guy will be gone. I'm a little concerned that this guy is going to uh, cause, like, an injury or whatever. A wound, whatever you want to call it. And then Iron Man is getting attacked by two. Maybe I... 
Hmm. I actually see a world where... Man, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is a decent empower time. Because I can keep all this heroism. We're going to draw a heroic, which could be something really nice. But then we'll drop the cost of this, but it should still use whatever we build up to. It'd be kind of interesting. Iron Man's for sure going to get hit by two. This guy's going to hit the Hunter pretty hard, but then get vulnerable added. Unless this guy is actually going to do a debuff as well, and then we might actually take a vulnerable hit there. Because we have seen when these two operate together, there could be some problems. There could be some problems. And because Iron Man's attacks are a little bit more straightforward, I think we could argue that we give the block here. That's going to put us up to 7 heroism. But then I can't really pull off the empower. If I'm, if I'm going to use... Because I'm thinking, do I use defensive posture as well? Right? To get Iron Man buffed or defended. But I could heal him up with a Vampiric Essence on the next turn. Possibly, instead of going defensive posture here. Don't worry, I got you. The other thing that we can do is, that if we keep happen. all this heroism after playing in power, um, then we could use a bunch of these AoE attacks too. Like this slide on him could be worth a lot. Let me help. Let's see what we draw here. Okay, okay, we got a we got a swarm at 155. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. Um So this does clear this clears him. Clears the shadow hound. Get the big vulnerable attack there. I, th I think this is fair play. I had hoped for a challenge. So that clears the protection, so next turn we can grab that. And then Tony, because we still have seven heroism, we're going to do all of the... I'm saving my energy till we need it. All of the environmental stuff. We're going to drop the rock here. Do the slide, hopefully. Let's do it. I hope that didn't move me out of the range of the slide. Oh my god, it did. I was concerned, and I had a right to be. Are there any other obstacles I can mess with? At the end of the day, I can set up there next turn to take advantage of that, but I would have really liked to do it this turn. We could look to just blow these up, too. I think we will. They take a turn to reset anyway, so it's not so bad. Not so bad! Mm, okay. It's about as good as it's gonna get. Submit.
Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, thankfully, he attacked first because now he's going to put the vulnerable on. Uh, we can easily reveal him by blowing up that ley line. And we have the we have Nico's restore to fix up the hunter. Oh right. Yeah, this guy's gonna do that, eh? Yeah, the guardian's a little different. Okay. That truck is about to move out. You're running out of time. Okay, so here in this situation, there's a few problems. <laughs> there's a few issues. Um, we do have a swarm here to get through this. He's going to attack Nico next. Uh, Hunter has one resist, which is good. Iron Man looking to be attacked potentially three times. And then I have to spend a card play on recovering supplies. So if I go Swarm... Restore doesn't even feel good here because he's not at 50%. Uh, last sight's also kind of a, well, actually, okay, hold on. Maybe the better play here. We go Swarm. Get rid of this. We go Recover Supplies. Gets the supplies. And then I go Last Sight onto... Oh, man, if I wasn't weak, that would be sick. If I wasn't weak. Hmm. Let me redraw the dark heal here for right now. Let's see what else we get. Curse applies weak. Let's redraw this as well. Okay. Target an enemy, damage them or random nearby enemies four times. So, in this situation, you know it's going to attack him three times. Or four times, sorry. Which... is slightly more damage than Swarm here. And it's not a bad option, because... he is vulnerable, so that is kind of amplified. Four times 46... is, what, 100 and... 180... 184. So that's kind of nice. Plus, plus vulnerable, right? Uses up all of our heroism. Is that a problem? Not really, because then I have to go recover supplies. And then I think I just go last sight to gain concealment. These two attacks don't go off. I keep my... I keep my uh, resist. And Iron Man gets hit... twice. If we weren't weak, I could KO this guy, but I'm weak. Um, Nico will attract this. So I think that's fine. You shouldn't have pushed me. And by attract, I mean taunt. Look at that. My god. Woo! 69s across the board. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I actually have a shove, too. I do have a shove, actually. So maybe... Hold on. Hold up. We could do this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We do this shove... Of 
qualifications to be a Hydra officer? I'd have guessed a warm body, but I think Lilith solved that too. Iron Man can grab the supplies. It's now it's oh my I'm just I feel like we're playing a new game now. Like we're playing a new game. Because there's so much extra stuff going down. And it is incredible. So now Iron Man's only gonna take one hit. Nico is gonna take one hit, but uh Hunter's not gonna take any hits. And we're nullifying their turn. We're not dealing with them. They're still around. Which sucks. But I have a really strong swarm coming up next. If this guy goes for a block, he's going to consume more of his health to do so. Um, I could have argued for a shove here, but clearing those two was really nice. Huh. I should have maybe considered... something a bit different there. Hold on. We did say we could blow this up and hit these two. Which feels pretty good. Might as well. This should be good. We serve until the end. Defiler. She might take a wound here. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah. Big time. Just a casual 159. Iron Man, watch your back. We still haven't drawn his big air superiority, so I'm expecting to see that soon. Okay, we got an overloaded bro here. That's fine, I think. Okay, 32 blocks. Nothing now. I hope you're ready. Huh. Okay. Hunter's getting attacked twice. Three times, but we can get rid of this guy. And then... We could technically use Restore twice in a row here to, fu to fully heal Iron Man and Nico. She will take a bit of damage, but that's okay. This is kind of like a full defensive thing. Blood Magic could be good if we draw some Iron Man cards. And All Out is nice here because we don't have any Hunter cards. Who's in that threshold at 152? Uh, this guy is. We could just get rid of him finally. So if I do double restore, a shove here to get rid of the wolf... Or maybe I... Yeah. Restore is going to give us a bunch of heroism, too. Maybe a shove here. And I can drop this. Or we could save the move to set up for, like... Maybe Iron Man could do a thing where he... How much is this? 65? We could, like, drop this, do the kick... You do a few things there. The thing is, I do have to move Nico out of here at some point. Now, what I should do is I should do this first. I should heal him because she's going to take a bit of damage from her wound, but not enough to KO her. 53, and then I should heal her second. And this is actually going to move her, too. So let's do this. Because if I do it to her first, then she's going to be... Well, I guess it would kind of be the same, wouldn't it? I don't know what it is, but I like it. Going for it. 
I think it would net to be the same. Oh! Huh. Maybe she doesn't take it because the card... This is one of those weird situations where the card is being played and it counts as a card play, but it's not counting as a card play for these status effects. We've seen that in a couple of other pretty interesting situations. Okay, so we're at four heroism here. Um, the all-out can take out the guardian. I want to see how this is looking. Doesn't look good from here, but I do feel like if I come this way, I can probably hit these two. But also, I like that I could get rid of two units and the guardian and just be done with them. And then the hunter has two resist anyways. Well, well let's look at it. Because we can use momentum. Well, that was weird. Yeah, okay. So if I hit this guy, I'm only hitting one anyways. I, I can't get that that angle. Let's see if I can get it here. Oh, really? Oh, here we go. <laughs> that guy still lives. We're like a pixel off. I'm just gonna see if I reposition in any specific way, if that can help it. Wow, is that close? Oh, mm. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit more. Hold on, I'm gonna move way out and then I'm gonna reposition in. Because sometimes you can't... You can't reposition in tight like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. All right, well, I do want to KO that guy. That's going to be two heroism. I can drop the rock on the on the dog. And then that'll be three heroism. I'll still have one to be able to get rid of the guardian. Weak, even for Hydra. Oh, is he not in there, dude? No. For real? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna redraw the disabled truck here. Give me a... I need a quick card or something. That's not gonna be it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can Nico hit the... See, because now if the dog attacks, the hunter is going to take damage here. I should have looked, but I just felt like he was in there. So that's a bit of a misplay. I guess in this situation... I guess in this situation, I let the guardian hit... Uh, let the guardian hit him, and we take out the dog. Right? I don't have a way to get enough damage in on this guy. Even with the rock. Hmm. Either one of these is, is kind of wasteful. This one gets me two Hunter cards, also triggers Obsidian Caller. So maybe that's the play. But man, that feels bad. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. You are lucky to still be free. 
Mindbreaker. There's a Merciless. Let's just play the Caller. Welcome, assistance. We're not going to draw any cards next time, which feels rough as well. But since we're here... This should be good. Okay. It begins. Bating! I'd like to see like You're a cool little reflection. Okay, so the slow is a bit annoying, especially because we used all of our heroism. Oh, that's... Okay, that was... Okay, I'll give you that. He knocked us into a ley line. I thought this was... I thought this ley line was gone. Maybe came back, I didn't notice. Tell me he's in the circle. Another resist. Beautiful. Another truck is about to leave. You know what to do. I do. I do know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, we have another restore. And none of them are coming in with, like, the super powerful attacks. I usually would say we don't need to go for the device, but I, th I think we have a pretty safe way of doing it this time. You have earned this. And by device, I mean... Is that truly your best? The box and the truck. Right, so I go recover supplies. We do a... Let's redraw this for a sec. Because if we get... Ooh, that's actually... That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Because it could hit one, two, three, potentially taking somebody out. Um... The safest play here is restoring Iron Man. Let's get rid of full force. Oh, okay. I like that, actually. Okay. Nico, I betcha. Could knock him in there. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Okay, that's our move. He gets up, he laughs, thinking, Oh, you wasted something. You didn't do you didn't do anything to me. Generate some heroism here. Getting it done any way we know how. I heard Lilith is kinda hot. Any of you dorks make a move yet? Surgical strike. We still haven't got his 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 big attack that we want to test out. Unfortunately. It's gotta come next. It has to. We've got this as well to take out this guy. This one's for you. How good is Restore Plus? Tell me. It is insane. This card alone makes Nico Feel free to do that so anytime. strong. So strong. And then she could probably leap over at this guy. Absolutely. I'm just thinking if that's the play that we want. If we use her to blow this up, does she move? She moves to there. 
Hunter, same thing. And Iron Man... Maybe just stays where he is. I'm just looking to see if we get somebody over here to maybe launch an attack on this guy. But then the risk is that we end up in there, which is a bit problematic. We have to use the Hunter to recover the supplies to get out of the circle. <laughs> That's just not worth it, man. Oh, it's just not worth it. 26 Heroic Essence is nothing. That's nothing. It's just, not, it's just not worth doing. Honestly, not worth the card play. The artifacts are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? What is that extra circle that we see? That was weird. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> So close to being just the ultimate setup here. Watch closely. Okay, there are. <laughs> There's no more environment objects we can blow up. They're gone. Iron Man is going to take a big hit here. I wonder... Okay. I think... I think because he concealed there, his next attack becomes a lot stronger. Okay. Let's try and set up for an Iron Man finisher here. Either way, she could... Yeah, there's air security. <laughs> Finally. Uh, redraw to add 32. Redraw to add 31. Uh, this damages every enemy, which will finish the mission here, but Witchfire could have done it anyways. It would have finished just as nicely. Uh, should I play this just to get more Iron Man cards out? This should take long. Don't mind if I do. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna do one of these as well. I'm just trying to boost XP, you know. You need this more than I do. I love that little the oh, heart. That's just so, so good. All right, let's see it. Saving this for a special occasion. Jake Solomon on Twitter today said they're gonna be nerfing of this. Modern technology. Now, in that situation, it doesn't look as impressive, We've okay? But it. it can hit work. literally everything. And then if you have card mods on it, when mods can have things like, oh, at maybe had, have a, had a chance to, to bleed, being able to impact every single unit is kind of insane. That was a pretty solid mission, I gotta say. Very happy with that. Nico, absolutely the MVP. Iron Man, the flashiest, but without her, without those heals. Witch, please. <laughs> well... I love it. I love it. She's slowly becoming somebody I'm like, yeah, I could see it. J like, yeah, I wonder how many of those restores do I have in her deck? If I, if I build a deck for her that is solely focused, I shouldn't say solely, but mostly focused on healing and stuff, um, that feels pretty good. Yeah, so, yeah, I think I get a second restore plus in here. Start modding it to see what else could happen. We replace something like... Maybe even just a curse. Keep a curse plus, right? But we've seen, like, Swarm. If we upgrade this, too, then we add an even higher level of possible damage. Um, so that's kind of cool. 
We modify that. Uh, Witch Storm can be modified so that it only costs two heroism, like that. And then there's potential mods as well. Uh, Empower is okay. I feel like having one of those is fine. Yeah, so if I drop one, I probably drop a curse here. Witch Fire as well. Like, she's putting out 124 damage. That's pretty huge. And then if I upgrade Witch Fire. Yeah. And like, I see. I'm looking at this. I think my main heroes, if I had to pick, I'm like. Blade, Ghost Rider, Magic. Uh, if I can work Nico in there, it's kind of cool. And then those are the core, like, Midnight Suns crew as well. And I feel like for a Dark Hunter uh, playthrough, that makes a lot of sense. We do have some work to do on the friendships. And I would like to focus on that a little bit more. But anyway. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right, it's not far from here. Let's go. Oh, what does Agatha have to say? Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but... Death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. She's about to drop a huge bomb on us. My hunter seems to love the book club shirt. Like, what is going on, man? We've all these great options. Let me see. What else do I got in here? I'll throw this in for 100 Glossaroonies. Just to mix it up a little bit, you know? This is sort of Dark Hunter, I guess. I mean, I could throw this into the mix. Just because, you know? If the game decides to, to make us wear that, then cool. I thought there'd be snacks. What the hell? I thought there'd be drinks. I brought salt poppers. I thought there would be chicken mushrooms, and there are. Those are vile. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Same. Why? It's usually when people get fired. <laughs> you have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. He's 100% right. In the, uh, in the corporate world, when you get, like, a em emergency... Not even an emergency, it's just, like... A conference call that wasn't planned. Everybody hops on a call and you're like, okay, what are, what's happening? And inevitably, inevitably, somebody has left. No, there's still coffee. For one re so? reason or another. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. You know how long this will take? I don't. I do not. Why? <laughs> Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. Huh. Uh, Wolverine, what's your casual clothing look like? Yeah, you got one sick wife beater option. I don't mind these. I do feel like his X-Force is probably a little more Dark Hunter, full stealth, versus just black. Let's, let's go for it. She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Okay, Tony. Such a charming location for whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could, what would you suggest I do? 
waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? <laughs> I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. Good thing you Uh, what? What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. <laughs> Why do you say that? <sighs> yeah. Mm, just a feeling. It's very possible. Like how all the sons are over here. On Nobody one side. knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Wait, did I not grab this? Oh, I hear this the cat. Odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Okay, just in case she banishes me forever. Could be my last time petting Good you. Good girl, Charlie. She loves me. Where's that cat? Yeah, I see you. Come down here. Impossible to reach. Okay. What's up? Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you are hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. What have you been doing with all the previous moments? I mingled already. What did you always tell me? Hesitation is a gift delivered to your enemy. It is absolute cruelty to use my own words against me. Especially when you're right. <laughs> Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And Whoa. if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state what? in which we find ourselves? You're putting this on me? Ooh. Ooh. God, I gotta do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is not any one team. It is your failure to bring us together. Whoa. <laughs> you throw us at an impossible problem, withhold vital information, and then blame oh. us for not getting things right. We are You that's set correct. us up to fail, and so we do. Ooh, damn. If contempt for my methods builds unity, then so be it. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could've fooled me. <laughs> oh, jeez. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? <laughs> there is no better person for the task at hand. Confidence is good for a leader. Arrogance? Not so much. Oh, which one was that then? You think I'm arrogant? I hope not. But either way, I'm sure we'll find out. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. Oh my god. I will chase my mother to hell if I have to. 
The question is, will any of you? If you will not give everything nice. you have, the rest of us do not need you. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to Vibranium Tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. I literally just talked about how I'm all in on the suns. I don't like this. And I don't love this. Are you negotiating who gets to stop the end of the world? Not when you put it like that. I cheated death so I could drag my demon mother back to hell. Do you think I have the time or patience to deal with teen politics? Or that. I will use the Avengers as I see fit. Make your peace with that. Or get out. Jeez. Laying down the hammer. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. Huh. <laughs> I don't like how this comes across. I, I do feel like this is true. They are sort of unproven. If you they might not answer, like that. I do not know if you are ready. Show everyone you are capable of succeeding as a team. Then we will talk. That's not fair, Hunter. Yeah. Fair is not going to stop my mother. The big picture is the only one that matters. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the hunter. So that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. Hmm. I said some harsh things about you. You were not mad? All part of the... No. Oh, you meant what you said? <laughs> she thought it was just for show. Every word. Well, you're not entirely wrong. It's true. I could have handled all of this. It's true. I could have handled all of this oh, better. I've been... Without Agatha, this is harder than anything I've done. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? <laughs> In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No, you drain faster than bathwater. You drain faster than bath water. Unity Caller. And a bunch of dark balance. Ooh, another mind bender. Okay. Could use that to upgrade. Okay. We have already upgraded one of these. Okay. I kind of like this option. I wouldn't mind having two all outs in my deck. I also wouldn't mind having two mind breakers. I do feel like mind bender is like the lowest on the totem pole here. What's nice is it's a skill, so you gain heroism, whereas Mind Breaker, you spend heroism, and I guess that's the big trade-off, but this is a single-use card in the deck, so you play it, it's gone. There are other cards we can mess with to get around that, 
But also, one of the advantages of that is you use it once, and then the other cards have a higher chance of showing. So, there's an argument to be made for that. Um, but I think we take another all out. It's good damage. It gets us card draw for the hunter. But on the on the other side, I could craft an all out for cheaper than I can craft one of these. And I wouldn't mind having two mind breakers. That's a tough one. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> There's the Sarah I know. The one who yells at everyone? The one who kicks indecision straight in the ass. Up for a drink? Let's see if there's any combat bonus in here. Nope. More than you know. Common room? In a few minutes. Yeah, I guess I can follow you. For now. What are you saying exactly? Kid, don't lose my respect. It's the part of me that won't grow back. <laughs> That's cool, actually. I don't know if I agree with everything you said. Still, I'm glad you said it. What do you mean? This is the first time I've felt like I'm really part of a team. Not just Peter tagging along. I get it, we're in this together. But it's good to know that's how you see it. I get what Steve sees in you. Is that a compliment or an insult? Not with him, depends on the week. But for you, it's all compliment, boss. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Now you're the actual boss. And I called it way before Steve did. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm happy for you, but I hope it isn't weird when we hang out. Why would it be weird? Huh. Good point. All right. Let's not make it weird. Every I had not predicted this. <laughs> Really? No, Sarah spoke with me earlier. We have a long history of mutual advisement. What advice did you provide? About time. Which was a mistake. She thought I'd presented her with a temporal riddle as I do on occasion. I could have brought popcorn. I know, you probably love that. For the team? No, to watch you turn the Abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. Ooh, not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? <laughs> Feels good to me. You certainly know how to speak your mind. You agreed with me. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but you stepped up, you laid it out. And now you're ready to walk straight into hell. Figure I'll be there when you do. Really? Yeah, you're the obvious target. So I'll slip past why they tear you limb from limb. Don't worry, we'll build your bigger mausoleum. <laughs> Always the strategist. Still working out the kinks, but we'll get there. That's my best friend. Yep. Don't know why I didn't see it. You're perfect for this. You did not see me as a leader? It never crossed my mind. Most leaders I've encountered in life have a sort of professional ambition, for better or worse. Steve doesn't, but he's also called Captain America. The name alone carries rank and authority. So if I went by Private Hunter... Oh no, don't call yourself that, <laughs> and I'm not explaining why. Private Hunter. I didn't come here planning to put you on the spot, but that's how it turned out. You really think I can do this? I know you can do this, and you have a great team ready for you to lead them. So let's get started. I'm so proud of her. And you, of course. Don't pout. I'm not pouting. Okay. Is it going to teleport us? Absolutely. So, stop. We've known each oh, other too long for this. this. 
What, half a century? If you round down, and I should have been there for you. Well, you're here now. Nice. Okay, so since it's nighttime, I think what we will do is head out here and see if we can give this challenge a try. I don't know that our deck is going to be built for it, but also don't know what to expect at all. So, who knows? What level are we here? 16? I think that was the recommended level. So it could be kind of interesting. If I was going to do this, um, the last, last site seems really helpful for this. Um, Berserk could be, could be pretty good. Uh, these could be nice. The Dark Heal, mm, potentially. I do need a Quick Slash. Uh, Merciless is damage. Man, that, like, it's, it's tough to go all, all Dark Hunter stuff here, isn't it? Deadly Ground's my only non-Dark Hunter. I guess Quick Slash, too. But I kind of need to take this for the, for dogs, right? For the hounds. Uh, maybe, maybe a Blade Storm? <sighs> maybe Blade Storm? All Out is good, because it's high damage. And then these, I don't know. Potentially, potentially having these around could help. Because you could, like, knock somebody into a stun and then go Merciless, but... I don't know, man. I, I, I think I'm going to try... Oh, yeah, and I can only have one Legendary, so it's Annihilation or Blade Storm here. Uh, phew, that's tough. This is actually very, very challenging. I could even argue for, like, a whip here. Forceful knockbacks in any direction. But that would be even better with my Deadly Ground. I don't know. I think we'll just take in kind of how we have this. And we'll see if... Uh, well, I Because we don't know. Because we, we just don't know. What's the other caller that we got here? The Unity caller? Gain one fast... Play a light, dark, and power card in any order to earn in combat. Okay, well, that's not going to work for me because I'm all dark, right? Uh, we don't have any light cards, but you have to play all of these to get one fast. Which is, again, uh, not as good as the rare Obsidian Caller, in my opinion, uh, for our specific deck. So, yeah, okay. Guys, uh, let's wrap it up here. When we come back, we will give the challenge a try. Hopefully it goes well. If it doesn't, that's okay. We'll come back the next night and continue. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.